Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. This weekend, we were invited by a friend to go to the Game Museum in Nagoya, Japan. So yeah, why not? The main building is the Nagoya City Museum, which may store some things of historical importance, like vending machines. Entrance is fairly cheap, adults 1,500 yen, high school students 900, elementary school, junior high school 500 yen. There are two main halls, the first with machines up to the 90s, usually mechanical, needing a lot of maintenance. You can see where the ideas for 90s video games came from. This one's a two-player pinball game. Once you lose the ball, the whole table shifts to the other player. Attack defense. Among the other pinball games, there are some that are closed for maintenance. We even had the opportunity to see one being repaired. The first button is for the pitcher, and the second for the batter. Pinballs. I'll be back. Along the side here we have artifacts from long, long ago. A time everyone wants to return to. The 80s. Or maybe the 70s. Depending on who you ask. Next to the upright cabinet of Space Invaders, we have the tables laid out. Much like a cafe would in the 80s. With forced food and drinks on the side. And an arcade game stuck in the table. It was pretty neat to see how these controlled. On the left we have a, a, more of a lever rather than a game controller. And for Arkanoid the spinner, which is much more sensitive than I expected. And these are known as cocktail games, so when it's player 2's turn, the display flips. Technologies. Moving on from the table area, we can observe how terrible my camera really is. If you agree, please subscribe and hit like. The camera I'm using here is the Vantop 5C. Many YouTubers recommended it. I think it's complete balls. Over here we have the real Space Invaders. Next to it, real life Pac-Man. And in the corner, Space Invaders on a large projector. Wow. Connecting the halls, we have these weird machines with buttons. Like, count, learn to count, number counting games, or you get blown up by dynamite. Boom. Vending machine. And the toilet looks like this. Wow. Oh, and it's one of them button things, so you, you, so you, you push it and then it squirts. In the larger hall we have the games from the 90s. Here's Taiko no Tatsujin. And some modern action games in the center. Here's the village idiot playing Afterburner. Here's some cool guy playing Outrun. And another extremely handsome fellow riding into the sunset on his Akira motorcycle. Kaneda! That's Mr. Kaneda, that's you, punk! 
There are five Astro Cities on the side here, with Puyo Puyo, Street Fighter 2, Daily Thompson's Decathlon, and two linked up Virtual Fighter Machines. Plenty of games here for kids to enjoy. And a few races too. It's Crazy Taxi. You're, you're crazy. Cr crazy. Daytona USA. And Rave Racer. Over towards the light gun games, there's a selection of police simulators. But other than that, you have Time Crisis and Space Gun. It was interesting to see how the monitor was mounted in Time Crisis. If you want to see more on that, I've linked a video down in the description below by Retro Ralph. All in all, a very nice day out. It's only going on until the 29th of August, just a few minutes walk from the Sakurayama Station, Nagoya. Ready? So let's finish off with a reenactment of how well I did on Outrun. Enjoy, fellas. Checkpoint. 